question to you in your experiment of let's say like trying the new trends of oils everyone has vaseline but let's say you were in like somewhere remote i don't know i can't really think of it is there a natural oil you could second to it that you would maybe advocate for well absolutely i think anything that's like in this natural form jojoba oil is supposed to be one of the lightest oils that jojoba is good yeah that mimics the oil that our human skin produces for me that was mm -hmm. still too light but jojoba is supposed to be fairly good if you can get extra virgin olive oil the mm. smell you know can be a little eh, but it's one of the best oils because it's not as processed as the other oils and olive oil you know all these natural oils unfortunately they'll go rancid after a while and have a smell yes yeah, true olive oil is good sesame seed oil is pretty good as well grape seed oil and again going towards the forms that are least processed i think any kind of oil that is in the stores you can find in the stores that's cooking grade oil should be good though again if you compare the price that you're going to be spending for that bottle of oil versus a bottle of vaseline it's going to be a bit higher because you yeah. are what you eat sort of thing right absolutely definitely what we eat you know we have to be very careful i think we're mm -hmm. most of us are a lot more relaxed about what we put in our skin because you know mm -hmm. we think we're going to wash it off but cooking grade products on your skin are definitely more pure i'm an advocate for olive oil i don't know mm -hmm. I, I find it has a lot of healing properties i've been I, i've been using my olive oil like but also the sesame seed oil for hair growth oh man i i don't even know what to do with my hair growth mm -hmm. that will be another topic because we're going to talk about <laughs> relaxers soon